What's up guys, it's Wes, back at you with another video. I got some uh, stuff for the mini chopper today. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's not nothing to make it run better or faster or anything like that, but let's take a look at it. Alright, here's my package. It's a... Uh, I got it from Go Power Sports. It was. Did you say how much it was? I don't know. It's about $25. Clear valve cover. I got a Hemi in uh, the uh, mini chopper. So let's look at everything it comes with here. This light's bad. Let's move over here in the shade. So it comes with, of course, the valve cover little protective cover and it's got a cool little bung vent for this yes comes with these cool stickers I haven't seen these ones before kind of got a retro vibe and the new cork gasket yeah so let's go over here to the bike here it is Oh, this is not a good angle. All right, see, I uh, oh, you probably noticed I didn't do anything with this uh, valve cover vent because I plan on putting a clear valve cover on here. It's pretty tight. I hope I can do this without taking anything apart. But uh, yeah. Hi, here's my shadow. Ooh. So cool. Oh, I already messed it up. Put this on. I used the blue for the rest of it. Oh. That's a tight fit. That's what she said. Put this vent on. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get this guy off. Uh, I believe. Can I do this without blocking your view? These are eight millimeter. <clears throat> so tight. That's what she said. Eight millimeter, or I'm using a five sixteenth socket. Whatever you got will work. I have this deep well. This is gonna work really nice for me. Kidding me? My exhaust bracket's cracked over here, man. It's always something. It's never a dull moment with mini bikes. Let's take these uh, four bolts out now they're loose. I think we have to reuse them. They didn't come with the uh, cool new hardware, which is fine. That one's in there. Really tight. I can only get like a baby turn at a time. Oh, did I get it? I got it. Oh, I got it. Let's see how stuck this thing is. Oh, came right off. Look at that. Beautiful. 
Yeah, you can see right there my exhaust bracket's cracked. I have to weld that up. Let's compare these just in case um, they're not symmetrical. It seems like hmm. yeah, I think it doesn't matter which way they go. I kind of wanted this pointing up to tuck it up under the seat and I think uh, I think I'll be able to do that cool let's go back over to the bike <laughs> well <laughs> I was gonna just put the valve cover on but this exhaust was so broken see that's where it was cracked and then I added a little gusset here and then I I saw that the pipe itself was cracked so I uh, Hold that back together. Let's we'll see how that does. Should hold up. So I'm gonna put that back on, and we'll continue with what we were doing. All right, I got it back on with this little new gusset. I'll repaint it later. Right now we're doing the valve cover. It's still off. All right, dudes. Um, I got this uh, ultra gray. And I'm going to put it on here. I'm just going to use this to glue the gasket to here. Very small amount. It's not going to use it to seal it or anything. I just want this to hold it in place until I get it bolted down. So we'll do that real quick. Just the tiniest amount. Not even, not even two finger folds. Maybe, maybe two. I don't know. Yeah, a little bit more. And it looks to be this gasket is completely symmetrical. So it doesn't matter which way or which side or whatever. Well, that's too much. I don't want you to notice that I glued it on. I just want it to be glued on a tiny bit. Okay. So what we'll do, take the cover, put it in place, oh it does have a way, I don't know, is that going to be a problem? Now feed the bolts through as a kind of alignment measure. And we'll go uh, over to the bike. There it is, you know, and we'll mount it up. Okay, this is interesting. I just didn't want to uh, go over there and try to put it in upside down, so I lined it up. And if you get one of these, man, I get silicone on it. The vent goes up. Because see, there's the OHV. It goes on like this on the bike. So the vent goes up, which is what I wanted, so that's great. So now let's go to the bike. Okay, the shot I'm getting is not the most ideal shot. Uh, this is really tight quarters on this bike, so this is this is what we're gonna get today. Let's see if I can feed this down in here without dropping my screws off. Okay, can you even see what I did there? Probably not. I'm gonna get a couple of these valve cover bolts started. Okay. So far, so good. I don't even know if I can get where you can see this vent. Let's see if I can put it like right there. Can you, can you even see what I meant? Something like that. Something like that, you know? Okay. So let's get my ratchet and I'll get all these things tightened down and then we'll start it up. Might be able to put you inside the bike. We'll see what happens. cool feature I can see through the valve cover to see where the bolt is let's do this really 
hard one first. Click. I don't imagine this thing being plastic that it uh, needs a lot of torque. Almost done. Mind your way, mind your way. I have to be. There. So cool. There we go. It's on there. Let's take a look from this side. Freaking cool, man. The vent goes up. From the side you were watching. Alright. We say we fire it up, huh? On. Oh, which way is choke? Go Power Sports. Put this in my hoard. Well, here's the stickers they gave me again. Here's those stickers. The window blow them away. Freaking cool. Alright guys, clear valve cover install in the bag. Alright guys, I got some. I'd like to thank you all for watching, liking and subscribing. I have made a lot of videos lately, I've been super busy. This is some high temp paint. I'm going to paint up these welds here. It's a good way to do this. And a brush uh, goes on pretty thick. I like it. It bakes on really nice. And you just reapply real easily. Yeah. So, I've got a bunch of big projects coming up. You know, I know you guys uh, probably get tired of these little tiny things. But I'm a busy guy. I got a family and stuff like that. Lots of things to do. Worldly things. So, in the future, uh, we're going to do some... I don't know if you remember that little red Red Devil two-stroke mini bike that I worked on a while ago. Well, that little two-stroke engine is... Uh, it's dead now. I mean, it runs, but it just... I don't know. If you know anything about two-strokes, you know that when they get hard to start and they don't stay running that they're they need rebuilt and that's where it's at so um, the engine from uh, okay I think that's good let's go in here I'll, I'll take you in the shop and uh, you can see exactly what I'm talking about the engine from that two from one video see it's right here there's a lot of other stuff going on here but uh, this two-stroke engine is pretty whipped but I think I'm gonna do is put this little 
uh, three and a half Predator on here. Just make it where the kids can ride it if they want. Oh, did you get a good view of it? You know, and um, some other stuff. Let's go over here. This van cart. Let's get an angle of it. I want to start uh, rehashing this thing. I make it the way I've always wanted. Um, pull out the Predator motor. See, it turns into like a little storage shed here for gas cans. And I've got this lawn tractor. It's got an 18 horse Intec. It's pretty new. It's like an 09 or something like that. Pause to read. Um, the deck. I got it for free because the deck was destroyed, like something happened to it while it was off. It starts pretty good. If I jump it with a car battery, that battery is definitely dead. But I want to take the motor out of this, and then I got a 5-speed transmission from an older rider mower. And I'm going to jam it into that thing. And then do a bunch of other aesthetic things. So that's what to look forward to. Alright guys. I'm going to get on out of here. There it is. My little Hogley Stevenson. New clear valve cover. Alright guys. Take it easy. Got some uh, ultra gray Permatex on here, and oh man, is this any good? I don't even know. Yeah, it is. Just taking my moped key and maybe. Hold on, intermission. Let's redo. The heck, stand up. Come on, you're a tripod.